So, Nottingham Forest, one. Asna, two. Mikel Arteta has got his first win away at Nottingham Forest in three attempts, mate. We're two points behind Jurgen Klopp's Red Army. We're three ahead of the greatest manager in living history, according to the top Reds. And uh, despite them having two games in hand, <laughs> um, we got the job done tonight. It weren't pre. We were talking about um, Portuguese, Spanish um Ola then jumped in and tried to take all the glory for the goals in the second half <laughs> um but some dead performances out there and two of them scored tonight dropping stinkers uh panic stations at the end make sure you sub to southern guna link in the title what did you make of that tonight lee the first half of uh our games man this season is like watching paint dry it is it's painful man it's painful uh this Sunday is probably gonna be painful. I'm expecting it to be painful as well. For everything that Nottingham Forest couldn't do, Liverpool will probably do it. Uh they had a couple of chances there early in the first half. They could have put some away, but they just didn't have what they need the, the, the players to do it. We have players that seem to can't put anything away. I know somebody's gonna come in and say, Well, hey, Zeus scored today. Go back and look at the goal. Go back and watch that in replay, and you tell me a competent goalkeeper is not going to stop that at his near post. For his legs. Watch, watch this. Watch this, Lee. And I'm going. I'm going to show. I'm going to show you something that people have not, have not brought up. That goalkeeper was signed by Edu and Arteta <laughs> for this yeah. football club. Well, people remember that. That's that's the goalkeeper we spent some money on to bring here. My fellow American. That's that's we spent money on that. All right. Let's get back to the game. Bakayu Saka. Another one. Lee. What's going on with this, this young man, man? I mean, it's another he week. He looks bored, bro. I can't lie. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just like you know, I guess for me, man, I guess he's worn down. His father's just like, you know what, man? I'm, I'm, I'm just, just, just winging it, man. It is what it is, you know. You look in the midfield, it's to see the same. Pro I mean, they cut right through us today. One, two, three, in. One, two, in. One over the top. The goal they scored right over the top. Bang, go. We cannot keep living on the edge like this. It is it's by I'm telling you, it is bound to we're gonna pay for this if we keep doing this year, yeah, going you know, throughout the entire year. There's nobody coming in the transfer window, so we got we stuck with what we got. As far as I'm concerned, I'm in the ship of if we don't get anybody, I don't care. That means it's less money for him to spend and get it wrong again. Bro, yeah, we got we literally got less than 48 hours to go in the transfer window. I am so happy they've not given him a penny. Yeah, they and they don't need to leave because see this summer that summer transfer window we're gonna wear that scarlet letter for the entire year, and in, in the next couple of years too. This this past summer transfer window, it, we're gonna pay for it because yeah. we're lacking. We I, I just made this point with 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 Tony and the guy. If you step on the surface and look at it, you say, okay, all right, well, we're only a few players away. We could go, go out and, and, and get what we need in the window, and we could probably compete. You know, if you step back and look at it from, from the sky, you know. But in reality, because we've just completely made fools of ourselves in the transfer window, and by 26 players under this manager, 24, what was it, 20, 22, that actually worth it. <laughs> And we've got, and now we're sitting here, you know, with hands up saying we don't have any money. And so you can't, you can't do anything to fix the problem. <laughs> but that makes the summer window even more weird. That's yeah? what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, Lee, is that that say that it really makes you question what were y'all thinking? And I, I'm mighty afraid that even, even if we are in the title race at the end, Lee, we're not we don't have enough to get over the line. And guess what that guess what that is a reflection of? The same thing we saw last year. Now let me get to something else that's starting to make the rounds. 
this bust up after the game. Did you hear about that? You heard about the bust up after the game? Oh, no, I've not seen that. What's that? Oh. So let's get to this bust up. Shout out to Bants for telling me this. Uh, there was a bust up after the game between Zinchenko and Ben White. Apparently, right. apparently, Ben White was upset over the goal that was let in. So they co- they're, they're coming to fisticuffs after the game. They're fighting after the well, game. They had a proper punch up. They had a proper blow up after the game. That's when we were talking you, about. You, you, you know that politician's getting boxed up as well. You know. <laughs> Even you, though they're both soft dudes, bro. Yeah, Benjamin's banging him. Hey. You, you, <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe they are a bit that. Like, hey. like, listen, it's 2024, bro. The year of the unicorn. You hey. can do what you want. <laughs> you, you, uh. <laughs> You remember after the game there? Because yours cut off, and I remember I was saying that he was in Arteta's face there. He was pointing at it, but that's, they had a bust-up going down the tunnel. I have one question. I have one question. Where was that fighting passion when we played Liverpool a couple of weeks ago? We, we were yeah. in these cup, these cup games. Where, where was that fight and passion when Newcastle came to town and we, we were playing Newcastle? Where was that fight and passion uh, uh, against uh, City? Uh, last year, what what was that fighting passion against Liverpool when we needed to win the title? See, we our our, our emotions and energy is displaced all over the place under this manager. And, and when you watch these games, Lee, you watch these games throughout the season, you see how discombobulated everything is. You just see it; everything's discombobulated. And I'm just me personally. I'm just waiting for the landmine to set off because it's coming. It's coming. I've been telling you all. All season long, Lee, that we are about to experience some pain and hurt like we have never experienced. Yeah, it's a before. false image. Yeah. People say the league don't lie. The league's lying, bro. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, you, you can say, hey, we've got Liverpool, West Ham. I can't remember who's behind behind West Ham. But then, then we got Burnley. 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 Burnley which we'll probably win, and that'll be another. We're back on track, you know, all this stuff. Then you, yeah. then you got Porto. The reality check comes in. You got Porto. Then you got somebody else. Then you got Porto again, and then it gets it gets really tough. And people are going to find out because, see, now, Lee, once we get to the purple patch in that area, you're not going to be able to look up and say, oh, well, let's go make a couple of signings. We, this season is the season that highlights how not proactive this football club is. The team is screaming out for a striker. I don't, you know, Jesus tonight. That was that. Come on, y'all. Y'all saw what happened before he scored the goal. She was yeah. sitting right there in front of the goal and missed it. Right in front of it. And then he got the little goal against Matt Turner. Like I said, a, a goalkeeper with some sense stops that. Allison stops that. Uh, 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 fell over at uh, at City. Stops all any any competent goalkeeper stops that at his near post. Ramsdale stops that for those in the chat, for friends of Ramsdale. He stops that. Rayo stops that. You know, Lee, we can't keep just, just winging it every game. And I've been saying this all year. And it's just the same old, same old. Manager looks like he doesn't have a clue of what's going on. Ed Dude sitting up in the stands tonight. He He's looking like he knows he's on borrowed time. You know, Perez is laughing. Sitting there laughing, you know. <laughs> look, look at him. Look at him. Look at, look at, look at. Him. I told y'all. I told y'all. You know, it's just like it's all a big charade that's becoming. The, you know, we have a saying over here in the states: the veil is being lifted on this team. The veil is being lifted on what this team really is in the next and couple. It's of a pink princess. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Hey, it's not going to be a white wedding. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we are done. We're done. <laughs> We're done, Lee. And, and unfortunately, man, I'm glad we got the three points today. But unfortunately, this game highlights another game where we're looking at the frailties of this team that has not been fixed. That has not been fixed. The, the form, the, the passage of play is sir, a big circle, as somebody put in our chat tonight. A big circle is pass, 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 sideways, back, back, sideways, back, sideways. You know, we're lumping the balls in like we got an eight foot striker in there. And I mean, we, it's this weekend. It's going to be a reality check, Lee. It's going to be a lot of pain. And a lot of people are going to get their feelings hurt. And don't discount West Ham. West Ham, West Ham, for some reason. Yeah, so I was going to say, every game we play them, they play like it means much more to them because they want to, they're, try, they're out to prove a point to Declan Rice that he made the wrong decision. So they're going to bring their A game. 
and it's a derby. So, I mean, bro, Lee, it ain't looking good. We, I, I know we're right down the doorstep of of, of of pulling them, but like I said, I think somebody, one of them has got a game in hand. I think it's the city's got a game in hand. City got two in hand. Two, Liverpool got one in hand. Two games in hand. Liverpool's got one in hand. City's got a full team back, and brother, it's gonna be tough. And let me let me let me let me phrase this too. I think we've got to go. We've got to go to City to play them at Etihad next go round, right? So we brother, play City away. We gotta to play Tottenham away, United away. Right away. Yeah. yeah, we're dusted, bruv. Yeah, we're dusted. But it's cool. Just be happy, Matt. We won the game. Hey, I'm, yeah. I'm glad we won the game, Lee. But the reality is, we hadn't won the battle. We're not going to win the war. Facts. Same old, same old. Yeah, and we can go from here to here real quick, and yeah. that's what's going to happen this season. But listen, make sure you sub to Southern Guna people. Come on, we're back again for the massacre at the Asna because I don't see anything other than Liverpool win. Uh, but it's what it is. Southern Guna, guys. I'm going to jump on player ratings with Kenny and Jez. Make sure you check out all the fan cams. It's nearly 1 a.m. Oh, my days. We're dusted, bruv, and I can't even see. My vision is less than Arsenal's chance to win the title this season. So we're <laughs> out. Adios, amigos. Ciao. I said that. Where are Badass the Emperor? Joga no Lice. Dute Inganoi. Yeah. Bete Alamiela. <laughs>